good morning, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're cruising right along here. We're uh, in a little bit of a town up here right now, which I don't remember what it's called. But I know it's on Highway 2, and that's right where that Highway 13 turns off. Yeah, and there's a big lake there to the left. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Now you can actually see it up there on the left. Big lake up there, that's for sure. But yeah, look at that. Looks like they still have a detour up here. It says detour ahead. For Highway 13, I guess that's referring to. Because uh, I heard that there's they were having a flood there a while back ago. And that road was destroyed. So that's what I thought, that the Highway 13 was still closed. Yep, I guess... Uh, I guess they're still working on it. They probably still haven't fixed it yet, so... Oh well, I guess that's the way it is. Hopefully we don't have any road closures on where we're heading. We still have 116 more miles to go until we get to our delivery place. Well, that's about a two hour drive generally, but uh, probably be about two hours and 15 minutes, so that should put me there about 10.30, so that'd be awesome. Perfect timing, I think. Those uh, That place I remember now, they are a little picky with their appointment times. They they say if, you know, if you're half an hour early, then they're okay with it, but they don't want you to be there too early, right? So we'll see. Still haven't got no reload offer yet. I mean, it's only quarter after eight, so. And I did tell him, hey, I want to go east from here. I want to kind of go to Toronto, so. That way we can get some extra miles in. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that will work out in my favor, right? Yeah. We had a little bit of a drizzling going on here this morning when I took off, but looks like that has stopped now. Yeah, even this morning when I took off, I was still having issues with uh, lack of power again, so I don't know. I haven't checked to see if the white strip is still in place. So maybe it has moved or maybe it's come off or come loose or something, so... I'm probably gonna have to recheck that here once I get to my delivery place. Uh, uh. See if it's still in place. If it is, then well, I'm still having a hard time believing that it's actually caused by my tour, Bob. But then again, what do I know, right? Yeah, this is one place I have stopped a few times up there in the parking lot. Nice big parking lot up there, you know. It's usually quiet there. It's never been bothered, so stopped there a couple of times for the night, but that's the place I was talking about yesterday. You know, like, there ain't too many places over here where you can actually go park, so that would be one place you could actually do it. And I decided, nah, I just stay over there. Much rather stay over there. So we're still going to get there on time, no matter what. So would have just meant I would have had to drive another hour later. That's all. Which I guess, in terms, wouldn't have been a problem. I had the hours to do it. I actually had plenty of hours. I had two hours left yet in the logbook. I uh, used up nine hours yesterday of driving. So I still have a good number of hours left, which is nice, you know. But anyways, uh, we appreciate you guys joining us on today's vlog. Alrighty, guys, we have finally gotten our load off, and we're already on our way to our reload. Actually, to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, it was a pretty easy in and out of there. I remember that place, and. Uh, yeah, we got in and out, no time at all, 
like probably in like 20 minutes we were empty and so here we are we didn't get what we were kind of hoping for so I guess this week I'm gonna be screwed on miles I guess but uh, whatever it's the way it works I guess sometimes and uh, what we got is we got us a reload uh, from Green Bay Wisconsin going back to Winnipeg so uh, I guess we're not gonna get a whole lot of miles this week I guess I could turn and burn again but I'm still having an issue with the truck so uh, I'm gonna be calling the mechanic here uh, probably this afternoon yet talk to them and see what they got to say and see if they think it could be something other than the, the than the turbo or or what it is uh, I don't really know but we'll find out I guess alrighty guys we have decided to make a little pit stop there a few minutes ago now it's coming up to a corner there and just as I turned around the corner I saw a little type of uh, mom and pop uh, a restaurant there and I said well looked like they had enough parking in there for me to go park in the back there and it was perfect I mean it was a gravel lot but hey perfect nice little mom and pop type of uh, restaurant there and uh, pulled her in around the back there and yeah good enough parking there for me nobody parking in the back so there was another truck in there I saw too so that kind of made me decide to go in there in the first place but uh, yeah I went in there and nice little place you know perfect for about two or three trucks that can pull in there and, and that'll be about it but yeah it's a beautiful place there Sweet morning. <clears throat> had us a bite to eat there and here we are back on the road again as far as I know the load ain't supposed to be ready till like four o'clock this afternoon so I'm gonna be there uh, early anyways so uh, not too sure if the load is gonna be ready before that I guess we'll go see but uh, we'll find out I guess when we get there right so that's why I decided you know I need my half an hour break anyways and uh, I wasn't able to do that at the customer where I got unloaded because it only took him about you know 20 minutes to uh, get me unloaded and everything so that only left me with 15 minutes of off duty because we got a log 15 minutes minimum to uh, get unloaded so uh, we did our 15 minute there and then had 15 minutes off and then we went back on the road so we still needed to take our half an hour break so we just did that here now, so we are good to go now. So hopefully, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, hopefully the uh, the load is going to be ready. If that's the case, then uh, we shall be okay, but I guess we'll find out when we get there, right? But yeah, it's been kind of drizzling on and off all day long. And, uh, kind of stopped right now for a few minutes but we'll see what it will do later I will take the rain any day over snow though it's uh, it's actually warm down here like I'm surprised it's like 20 degrees down here like it's actually way warmer than I expected it would be but hey I'm not complaining one little bit <laughs> I'm just enjoying it Sweet morning. Oh, you be quiet RJ just giving her here got the GPS set up so if we go like five miles an hour faster then the speed limit it will say speed warning and you know when you go downhill like that it goes up to uh, the five mile mark there and <laughs> so then <laughs> she's screaming at me but anyways we'll continue on with our journey here and We'll see what else we will be able to show you guys.
and ready guys now we got the trailer hooked up it was a little bit low so i had to actually go ahead and crank it up a little bit so we could actually get underneath there but now we're underneath it now it's going to lift it up via the air so let's go ahead and finish hooking her up and do our pre-trip and then we'll get out of here our load is ready that's fantastic news it's even uh, ready early so we don't even have to wait for our load for all of you guys that are green packer fans well we are in green bay wisconsin yeah look at that right there to the left up there uh, a little bit ahead is the actual football stadium yeah i don't really ever watch any football but i'm not really into that kind of stuff but hey it's nice to see you know beautiful building up there and you know it's it's a sport that a lot of you guys follow especially you north american people and uh hey i was born in south america so uh for me i'm not into that kind of kind of game i don't even know how it's played i don't even know how you score or what you get points on or anything i don't even understand the game so uh i have no way of knowing who's winning <laughs> unless i look at the tv and see okay green bay has got two and the other one three or or whatever that's the only way i know who's winning <laughs> but other than that yeah we are uh we're actually leaving Green Bay right now. We got our uh, loaded trailer, got all our paperwork, and everything is good to go. Well, we don't have our border crossing cleared yet, but uh, at least we got everything else. We got our trailer. We're good to go, right? As far as we know, anyways. And uh, I got instructed from the shop there. To go ahead and unplug my EGR valve to do a test run to see if it's computer related or what it is, you know. Like uh, I talked to the mechanic again. I said, "Well, I have a hard time believing that's actually the turbo. I mean, it worked fine until I got the CGR valve installed, right?" And he kind of agreed with me, you know. He said, "I, I think that they." Whoever bypassed my EGR rope system probably did something to the computer software. Probably deleted some stuff in there that that needs to be in there right now to have everything operating properly. So that's what he's thinking too. So what he wants me to do is actually he wanted me to unplug the EGR rope and do a test run. See how it's going to be see how it's going to perform now on my way home and then we'll go from there and I mean just right now a few times I had to speed up here it seems to be back the way it used to be like it seems to be back to normal but I guess only time will tell right but we'll give it a try and see what happens right because I have a hard time believing that my turbo is supposed to be shot I mean yeah, it's possible, but at the same time, the controller is controlling it and uh, the way it's supposed to. And I'm still not, things aren't working correctly, right? So, so we'll give that a try. Hopefully, everything will be just a software-related issue, and maybe they'll just be able to delete the old software and reinstall a new software, and maybe we'll be good to go then. You know. But anyways, enough of that, let's get on down the road here and let's see if we can make our way home. Hey guys, it is in the evening already. Hope you guys are able to see me a-okay. That's the plan, right? <laughs> yeah, we had us a shower. We made it up to uh, Wilson, Wisconsin. Yeah, very nice truck stop over here. So we decided to spend the night over here and We are done. We're getting ready to go to bed here in a few So we appreciate you guys all watching my today's vlog. I hope you liked it If you did give me a big fat thumbs up share the video if you're new to the channel we'll Love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button if you did we appreciate it We got videos coming up every day in the morning at 4 a.m. So we'll see you on the next one. Right down there in the comments below. Have a good one. It's time to
get going It's time to move on Put this behind me That day is gonna come 